Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about what to do when your training partner just isn't cutting it. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. So I'm in here hitting a leg day, doing some legs here on a Thursday. And I got a question yesterday off the gram, off Instagram, about people, friends, training partners who want to lift with you and you're a serious lifter and when they come to the gym um, it's slowing down your workout because they're not working out with the same intensity or the same drive that you are and it's becoming a burden um, over the years I've had this happen many times many times people will want to train with you and then you come into the gym and you start working out with them and it just slows down your workout to a crawl because you're used to going to going along at a certain pace. It's not necessarily a quick pace, but you're used to going along at a certain pace and a certain rhythm and a certain intensity and the person you're training with just isn't cutting it. A lot of us will feel guilt when it comes to working with these people, these friends or maybe even family members or somebody we met at the gym that wants to train with us because they liked our intensity. <clears throat> We'll feel a certain amount of guilt when we try to be selfish and try to take care of ourselves or our own needs in the gym. And I have to tell you, at some point, if you're training with somebody and they're just simply not cutting it, they don't have the same intensity, they don't have the same drive, they don't have the same focus, and they don't have the same goals, it's okay to take care of yourself and tell them, look, you know, this is. I have these goals and I have this this method and I'd love to train with you but if we're gonna do this together it has to be an equal thing and if somebody doesn't like this that's okay it's not your burden it's not your problem you still have to go to the gym take care of yourself and do what you need to do uh, it can be hard for some people just to take care of themselves and this transcends the gym this can be many aspects of life people simply are too nice, too nice, and they'll put others' needs in front of themselves. Now, when it comes to health and fitness, you have to consider your own needs. What are you going to the gym for? If you're going to train with somebody that isn't up to speed with you, you know, maybe they're just off the couch and they want to do a little bit of movement, you know, God bless them, that's good for them, that's great. But you have to be able to, at some point, understand when it's compromising your motivation, when it's compromising your goals, and to take control of that. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to be a dick or an asshole, but what it means is that you need to, in a kind and loving manner, tell these people, this just isn't working out for me, or, you know, hey, if we're going to train together, I need to train at a certain pace. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you're with somebody, training with somebody, and they don't understand, and they expect you to change to their level, you know, if, if this is the case, then, you know, this person, this person doesn't really deserve to be training with you anyway. They just simply want to, they want to control you, they want to use you, they want to bring you to their level. It's just not an equal partnership, and it's okay to say this just isn't working. This simply isn't working for me. If somebody truly cares about your needs, if somebody truly cares about your goals, they're going to get it and they're going to say, okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. We're not at the same speed. We don't have the same goals. That's cool. I want you to be successful. I want you to reach your goals. Healthy people in life want that from each other. They understand differences in goals, differences in perspective, differences in the place we are on the path along the journey. So healthy people will understand that. If you explain this to someone and they don't understand it, it's probably generally not a healthy person, probably doesn't deserve to be in your inner circle to begin with. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.